What's going on guys, I'm Christian Guzman and today I'm going to show you what Alphalant is really like in 2023. We've been open for almost two years now, uh, so come with me. We're right at the entrance right now and it's time to give you guys an update. So, a lot of things have happened, a lot of things are kind of in the works um, as far as updates and upgrades, but the first thing being, or the first thing I'll talk about here, on my left, we have our backup parking lot, which we're getting to the busiest time of the day. Um, it's like 5.35 right now. And so as it gets busier, this uh, backup parking lot fills up. Now, this space that we have here and on this side that I'm pointing at here is really the only spot on property that we have available to go up. So to build up. So the plan is to actually build a uh, parking garage, a three to four story parking garage here uh, where this back of parking lot currently is. So that'll be able to kind of solve our um, parking issues for vents and things of that nature. Now here we're walking in to the parking lot. On the left you have the globe mural that we had um, done. Shout out to Leah. And here we have our parking lot with 236 um, like paved parking spots. Uh, before this was just gravel. It had a bunch of like tr trailers and uh, even like an old boat on it. Uh, and we made it into a parking lot. Uh, because of the previous business that had the property before, they used this covered area for just like storage. And I guess that's just what I'm using it for as well. So, <laughs> you yeah. know. It's great because this is actually like all storage. We've got like just a bunch of metal stuff here. Uh, we have a full-time metal worker who does a lot of our, uh, obviously everything that we do with the table builds and um, like all the things that we build for here. So we have a whole station for like refurbishing equipment. Here we can bring the camera here, Let's see in there. You can see like we refurbish the equipment. We um, paint the equipment, the mesh panels and everything. We build, we tear things, <laughs> it's, it's a wild kind of process that we've developed here. But this is something that we've kind of had to develop since opening and realizing like, holy shit, it, it's awesome being open, but things are going out like crazy. Every single day it feels like something goes out or a cable or a machine breaks. And so we've, we're kind of developing a process to be able to fix all those things in house. Um, we have like this barcode system where each machine has like a thing where you scan and it's a whole thing that we're trying to implement, but I'd say we're doing a pretty damn good job. We do have these spots here blocked off because of all like the constant moving um, in and out that we do with all of these machines and lifts and things like that. All the guys have already gone home for the day, but not all the guys. We do have plans of like essentially covering all of this down with glass or metal and creating like it's 17,000 square foot of covered storage. So there's a lot we could do with that in the future. Um, but yeah, I don't want to get too ahead and tell you guys like what we're going to be doing and then have it change because I feel like I've done that a few times and I'd rather just sort of tell you what we're doing at the current state of things. So while we're on the current state of things, I do want to show you guys what I have here, which is my private gym. Right now, our current location on property is we're right next to the shack, which I refer to as the place that I built Alfland uh, for the almost two years that I was building it from February 14th until uh, we opened January 1, 2022. That's where I worked. There was no restroom or anything. so. We would book it, you know, and uh, yeah, it was a long, grueling, challenging, I should say, little time frame, but we got it done. And here we have my private gym. This is where I come to, honestly, just right now, shoot basketball um, with some friends. Over here, I've got my court. We got the little Alfleet logo up there. We had that extra from the signage from the bulk orders that we did. Uh, for the property, so I figured I'd put it up here. Got my basketball court with the NBA three. Let's see if I can make it three. Just one shot. One shot cold. And I'm also freezing. I'm trying not to show it, but I'm actually like cold as shit. 
Oh! Threw my hat backwards. Hi, hi, hi! 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 Over here, I've got um, the sauna that was at my house. We brought here because Heidi and I were having like an argument, and pretty much we moved it here and we put the squat rack in the garage. But we still have room for the sauna, and I'm like, yo, this shit's not getting used over here. I miss it. I want to use it. So we're actually taking this back to the house over winter break. Uh, so that'll go to the house. We do have this portable restroom, which is super nice for, uh, yeah, super nice. So it's great. And I do plan, I will say, on making this gym fully, fully functional, um, like sooner than later, because I really do want to film in here. Well, there's no reason why, though I like going to that gym that's close to the house and stuff, because sometimes instead of like training here to kind of break it up, like I have everything I need. I just need to sort of put it all together, put the pieces together and get it organized to have my space here to film and sort of like have my Zen area and kind of my me time. So I just need to like make this functional because <laughs> right now it's just a big, honestly, it's just a huge mess. And it, you might be like, oh, it's badass that it's a mess, but it's like, no, it's a mess as in like, I don't have all the right pieces of equipment in here. And there's like doubles, even triples of some stuff. And like, it's just not, actually functional and it's not enticing to train here without everything you know what i mean so i'm gonna make this give me like three months to get this like good maybe four give me four months four months okay I, I, this is mine from a little bit earlier <laughs> the tour continues we also really use this spot for like a lot of photo shoots um and it's kind of nice just having some space where you have to play with, you know? Speaking of photo shoots, I think Heidi and Buff Bunny are over here doing a photo shoot right now. I'll go say hi. What's up, guys? What's up, man? I was like, where's Heidi? What's up? We're done. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make campaign. What are you filming? Mm -hmm. I can't say the name of it because it's for YouTube. Yeah. Stop. It's the. Holy. Okay. Did you hear me? <laughs> yeah. The human image. Damn it. She like talked right into the mic. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at that shot. They're like putting a camera on a car. Yeah. That's dope. Cool stuff. Yeah. Okay. You well. want to come to the monitor where it looks like? Uh, no, I'm sorry. We're like, filming that tour. Yeah. All right. Love you. Love you. Okay, so now we're going to go into Alfland. Now that we've done with the parking lot. But here, you have gym two behind me. That's what you're looking at. Uh, that's like the, the biggest of the three gyms that we have here. Um, here on the left, you have the Alfland sign. These letters are six foot tall a piece. And I had them custom made by Foster Weld. And he, he thought I was crazy. He said, I can make them six. I go, six works. So we went with six foot. And we recently added these, uh, these spotlights. So we extended out here and did an individual LED strip pointing or slightly angled at each letter. Uh, which I think adds just a, a lot. It definitely like added the pop that we needed here. And with drone shots, it looks dope. Insert drone shot. All right. And now over here, as you can see this walkway, I'm not going to make us go walk through the walkway. I was thinking about it, but it's all right. We can, we can witness it and appreciate it. We have brand new landscaping as well because the Italian cypresses, which are like the big pointy trees that we had, which looks super dope, but they kept dying, man. I think we had to replace them two times already, like fully replaced the whole entire batch of them twice. And then I was like, all right, they just can't, it, it doesn't work here. So we uh, went with these new bushes and stuff that are going to essentially grow into straight line hedges, um, which would be really like filled and just like nice and it's a nice rich green 
and we'll keep it really nice and cleaned up and edged up and just kind of go all the way down leading you um, to the entrance we have our custom benches our waterfall the christmas lights and all that with the walkway we want to make you feel grand when you walk in this is your moment so we want to make it awesome oh this is also new guys check out the field so this field funny story here this field was actually going to be the original football field for the property um, before we made it like the bigger one in the back and went through the whole like leveling process and everything that we did and spent all this crazy hundreds of thousands of dollars to build the field in the back this was going to be the field and it's nice that now we actually have two fields online because um, we have like flag football the league we have our soccer league um, and we have multiple things going on at the same time which is like super awesome and yeah so that's now like live this is such a weird it's like what are you do what are you driving this way for <laughs> what are you you're, you're, you're driving this is not the entry that you drive in oh, no, you drive in another way you send a bad example <laughs> he's exempt i guess <laughs> <laughs> all right now we have the entry the two christmas trees i'll let you guys kind of walk in in front of me so here on your right you're seeing this alpha mania kind of setup here we have our um, toy drive that we're doing our monthly calendar here which is also new something we've integrated in um, and we have like a rotating kind of everything that we've got going on on all the TVs here at all times. Now here we have our legacy wall, which has not been updated yet, but here we just have the timeline of everyone who's been a part of the brand, all these big moments, uh, mom beating cancer, the ghost guys, you got, you know, Heidi, you got Nabil over here, Rob, Gabby, as everybody's on here uh, with the whole timeline of all the monumental moments from like launching Owl Fleet to the LA Fit Expo, which was the first Owl Fleet Expo ever, the college tour we did April 2016. And we also have QR codes here that if you scan, right, it'll take you to the video, um, the YouTube video in those moments. So super dope. Um, here we have the wall where you come and you sign your Owl Fleet tag with your name or where you're from. You get to attach it to the wall. And then this is already like the third um, like mesh panel that we're filling up so yeah that's we're gonna eventually when we have enough of them we'll go and we'll like lay them uh or we'll put them high on the walls so and put a little light on them so when you look up it's just like everyone has been here you know it'd be super dope and then here you got the owl fleet retail space which oh by the let me just take a moment and appreciate the beautiful floors I'm gonna, yo, you're good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, he's like walking up and I'm just, these beautiful, he's like, oh shit. <laughs> but these floors, um, we put a lot of effort into getting the floors to look this dark, this polished, um, and this is good. So hopefully you think it looks good. So yeah. Hologram machine. This is from, uh, what's a company called? Dream. Uh, oh, I can't remember diamond something dream diamond something like that but uh i saw that rolex used the, this hologram machine like at the expos and events that they go to to showcase the products i was like hey if rolex can do it alpha could do it you know what i mean so here you walk in you have all the men's stuff here on the left all the new brushed tops the hoodies women's on the right when you come to this back wall uh and for the materials that you're seeing you're seeing a lot of LED, oh, this light here is from Alcon Lights. This one was super expensive, but it's the only circle light in the whole property. Um, so yeah, really dope, it's huge. I think it's 14 feet, um, but you're seeing a lot of black glass. You're seeing a lot of black matte metal, um, black paint. And here, this back wall, the concept is like unisex here on in the middle, women on the right, men on the left, and you kind of have all like the men's joggers and men's shorts lined up here, even like exclusive colorways. I haven't even seen these joggers yet. They're so dope. But like, look at these. That you can only get here at Alflan. Um, yeah, there's a lot of cool little like gold nuggets that you can only get here, which is, I think, super dope. And I think our members appreciate. 
here is like the new Aura, the new Aura, Bandeau, the AirTech, Amplify Aura, Aura, Aura Flare, Aura, Amplify Contour, our new weightlifting belts, our brushed, our Aura, our Amplify, our Amplify V1, our six inch short and our four and a half inch short. And now I'll come this way. Oh, you gotta, you gotta say the little, the little saying here. This is the Alphaland motto. Welcome to Alphaland, an oasis where individuals come to learn more, dream more, and be more. Coming together is our beginning, working together is our progress, and staying together will be our success. So community is everything here, and yeah, so literally everything, right? So we'll come this way, and now we have our beautiful front desk right here with the back wall that we designed. It's a little second to appreciate that back wall, right? It's like smile, guys. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Here we have the new, we just put raw in here. So this is all raw everything. I know it says accessories. We're getting a sign on the way, but we're, we actually like, I'm talking to Chris right now because I want to do a custom, like super dope raw build out either in here or on that wall over there because I want to integrate them in like officially and like make it a bigger deal, do like a bigger collab and get a whole event going and make it super dope. But for right now, we do have all this raw product available here, even exclusive t-shirts like Houston raw t-shirts. So come check those out. Here we have our Alphalete pump cover and Alpha Land pump cover wall. This is all locally printed, all locally made to support the freaking community. Um, so you can only get these here. And when they're gone, they're gone. We don't reprint designs. Here we can come to the fitting rooms. We actually just closed up this wall and we're doing changes because it really wasn't getting used at all. And by closing this wall, we get more storage space in the retail storage. And we're gonna make a, 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 a door, a Dutch door um, to connect from our front entry to the retail storage. So now we can fully refill the storage or the stock without making any sort of commotion in the gym because we can do it through the Alphalete headquarters entrance where all the employees come in and we can like be loud over there, fill the back stock, not make it chaotic in here, keep the sales flowing and keep it moving. If we want to come in here, this is a fitting room, dope. This one looks a little better because you can see like the mirror better. The retail does really well here. Um, here we carry Alphalete. I don't know why I said we carry, but uh, I'll just show you guys. Let's go. My bad. There's always something happening here. Like, there's always a wall getting changed. There's always something happening. And I think that's a, just a testament to the brand of and the ideology of just, we can always get better. We know we can always get better. And if you know you can get better and you know something can be done better, it's just as much of a crime to not do anything about it and not act on it than it is to like not do it at all, right? So it's just that pressure that we put on ourselves makes us get better. And we don't need to wait for somebody to come up and start like outdoing us to level up ourselves. We can always level up ourselves. That's what we believe here. So here on the right, you got Ever Forward. On the left, you have 3D, Sour Strips. You have Anaka in here. Sholly, my boy. The new Anaka supplements. Look how dope these look. Look at that. Like that's a fucking beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product. Check that out. Check out their clothes. Check out oops, their new shorts. Look at the hoodie with the texture. So dope. Embroidery, the felt, really great quality. Come check it out. Now, now look at the Buff Bunny space. When we designed this one, this one I wanted it to be just like complete, obviously like her brand is so op almost opposite of Alphalete and but it's still like similar because it's quality, but all just opposite. So we wanted a whole different feel right when you walk in, feel like you're in a whole different upside down world. So that's why it's all white, it's all bright. We have our, what are these? The 24 by 48 um, longer marble to kind of make the eye go into the room. And we cut out this circle here for the chandelier to create this like glow here, um, which was 
really nice, but we also needed to do it because the ceiling, we had so many pipes that were like eight foot or eight and a half foot. So I could literally just like touch all these pipes here. So we had to get them high enough and redo the whole sprinkler system in this whole retail space to do the sheetrock here because everything else is exposed uh, ceilings, but worth the hassle because it looks fucking beautiful in here. It's got our TV playing, custom racks, custom circle rack. She has a hidden, I'm not gonna take you guys in there, but she's got a hidden freaking like whole room back here that she has for herself. I think, yeah, she pays me rent every month for this space, so that's good. I haven't checked to see if that's come through though. I should check. <laughs> it's been a long time, I haven't checked. <laughs> Okay, so here you can see the entry to the gym. A little shout out to our signs with all the pricing and everything that we've got. Um, also to our calendar, which is now conveniently placed right when you walk in. And also there's plenty of places. That, you know what, you're good, you're good. It's uh, plenty of places around the property, but new layout that we have here. The old layout was kind of like hard to visually see everything. So way more easily visible. A lot of shit going on for the members and for guests. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, hey, perfect. Our event coordinator is right here. <laughs> Mercy Madison. Um, just talking about the, I love the new layout. Oh, thank you. So much better, easy yeah. to see, and there's a lot of shit going on. Kirby yeah. and CJ like it. Yeah, yeah it's, so it's great. Yeah. You guys out for the day? Yeah. Okay, have a good one. Bye. So that's that. Before I take you down the hallway, we're now in the gym lounge. We have the wolf wall in the back. The hidden wolf, the ears, forehead, nose, with the owl fleet letters, the halo, the, the halo light in the back. Um, you have this little black on black painting of myself and Ashley Flores uh, on the restroom areas. This AC needs to get a little quieter because it's so damn loud. But it is painted black now, which we did because I wanted to blend in better. And then here we've got these new paintings that we got in. Not paintings, um, what are these called? What are they called? Uh, yeah, it's like acrylic, high gloss, like saturated, really, really saturated like pictures. So we have Jim 3 over there. We have me looking at Jim 2. Shout out to Nabil. He took actually both of these ones on the same day. And then Kirby took these two, which are super dope with the stars here in the background. Looks so good. And we got like ESPN on, Fox News. I'm not gonna go into all those new channels, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alpha Eats. So this is my mom's like place. My mom has been a chef um, out of our house growing up for so many years, ever since I was a kid. And she used to go and deliver to all, like make sandwiches and cakes for all of the hair salons. And she would go and deliver them uh, and like do her orders every single day. And she was doing it out of the house. So she wanted obviously like upgrade one day. Um, so I wanted to find a way to get her a kitchen and found this property that had a commercial grade kitchen already built in because of the business that it was previously. And that was just like more of a reason for me to get And like, it was like, this building is the one it's telling me it's the one it's so yeah, that was honestly a big reason why I bought this building was to get mom her kitchen. Here you can see opening day. We've got my dad, my mom, myself cutting the ribbon, which is dope. I was actually wearing a green shirt and Kirby photoshopped it to be gray because it looked better with the red. I'm like, I'm here for it. <laughs> uh, Oliver was still making her cakes that she would make in her same sandwiches um, by Alfie Eats now. And we have the whole menu, of course. I don't want to spend too much time, but a fully redone summer shredding menu that I just did this year, um, like four months ago, which is like immaculate macros and great low calorie options. Uh, and it's like fully transparent with the macros on here. And we also have like a full menu that's mom's like home cooked stuff, which is just like delicious and you need it in your life. So Christmas tree over here. Honestly, that's probably the best decorated one. I like that one. See with the little pop of orange looks really good. And over here, 
you've got the learn more, dream more, eat more sign. I thought that was kind of kind of fun. I feel like it's so weird to show the restrooms when we're like open, so I'm not gonna do it. But they're dope. <laughs> I like we brought the lighting down because it was really like blinding. So we changed all the lights to 3500 temperature. Uh, and we also just put them on dimmers, so everything is like a lot more dim, which also helps because we have like black tile, and with black tile you get like splash, right? So it just helps, though it's getting clean and like streaks and stuff, like you can still kind of see them. So it kind of helps make it feel like it looks cleaner, right? Which is always a good thing. So instead of going to the restrooms, we'll come this way, down the hallway, into gym number one. These lights were ridiculously expensive, but, and we finally have all of them, like like none of them are disconnected or flickering or anything. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I just, just don't touch it. I wanna reset the lights and, and like make them change color. But every time we do, it's like a big ordeal to do it. And every single time we do, we end up getting like two or three that are just like, like not connected. And I'm just like, it's good right now. So just don't touch it. So it's blue and it's gonna stay blue for the time being, okay? Because it looks fucking dope. But we come in here and this is the only straight shot. You see this straight path all the way through gym one and then the, the doors actually take you into gym number two. And if you look far down, you can see the back of gym number two from this single like line, which is super dope. Here you have another line which takes you into more restrooms. So you have like the men's with the, you can tell with these signs here women, and then you also have another one here, a men and women's here. And I'm, I'm gonna blow your mind. We're, at, we're actually gonna come a different way this time, so check this out. Don't know how many people know this, but this right now, okay, this room is our current trainer room. It's gonna become, or sorry, it's current break room for the employee. It's gonna become a um, recovery room. This whole area is gonna become a recovery room. I can talk more about that later, but this restroom area hallway connects to our studio. So we come in here. What's up? Hey! What's up? How are you? What are you doing? I'm good. I'm oh, filming a stretch reel. What's up? What are you filming? Uh, Alpine so tour. I'm doing a tour, yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's a three. Favorite, favorite room? Yeah. yeah? What do you want? I'm, I'm adding soundproofing in like two months to the whole room. That's good. Do you want anything else? I was gonna do another like a level for the okay. for the bikes, like to come down. Yeah, you like can a, do that. You need like one of those wall things where you grab like a stretch mat. Wow. No. Um, you don't like that one? I mean, it's fine. Or you shouldn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> I don't like how everything's blocking the windows though. I feel like that should be like open. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I like the bra. I love this. You can get it. You, you can use your code. Code Amanda. Code Amanda to save. To save. Okay, don't even use code Guzman. Use code Amanda. <laughs> All right. All right. So this is our studio. We have our uh, bikes that we actually just upgraded as well. We got their Johnny G's by Spirit. I'm not a big bike guy, but these are very, very highly recommended. Um, we have our ab mats over there, and this leads you into the gym one dumbbell section. So you have the dumbbell section here on the right with dumbbells up to, I believe they go up to 100. See, they used to go up to 200 in here, but they just weren't at all getting used. So I took out a rack to give some more space. But I think they go up to 125s here. So 125s, you have the custom outfit dumbbells. We've got all of our Machines actually like have, a lot of the rows are bolted down now, which is like a really big commitment and kind of scary to do, but like so confident in the machines that we have bolted down. So we bolted down each one of these Elite FTS competition benches with exactly like, I think four feet in between each bar to give like more than enough room because a lot of people do film here. And so the concept was like to give a little bit more of a buffer in between machines and stuff and aisles than I guess that you, you tend to need. So you have a little bit more space both this way and like in between 
to really get through comfortably um, and just kind of like not disturb others. We have, I do need to give a huge shout out to Prime, because Prime sponsored this gym with all this equipment. All, all the Prime equipment was given to Alfland by Prime. So huge shout out because it's like literally the best equipment ever. I was just like so incredibly grateful and I'm still grateful. So huge shout out. Love you guys. I love the white. We, we designed the white with the black level. So nice, so clean. But uh, we do have our sales office is over here, which is like a two-way mirror so you can't really see, but the sales office can see in. Um, I believe we're actually gonna be tearing that down and getting more gym space in gym number one because uh, I want more gym space, to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing that. Um, here you can see the Alphalete Gym sign, 20 footer that we've got up there. We'll come up here to the cardio area quickly because this is all brand new. Okay, so new layout up here. We decided to add turf. We already have turf downstairs of gym one, that whole strip down there. But I wanted to add another strip back here. This is 10 foot wide. So it's 10 foot wide and goes all the way down. Um, and it's nice because we were able to work around these grooves with like these uh, poles. And it's just nice because like, you can honestly kind of use this as storage naturally and this creates like a, a nice sort of natural storage area. And you still have a clean, clear path of turf that's undisturbed. Uh, even like all the cardio machines are facing away from the turf. So people don't get off and like you don't step on you and shit, you know, <laughs> cause that'd be bad. So we place everything facing that way here. And then on this side, you got everything facing that way. So you have plenty of room on both sides, nice and safe. And it also keeps the like, electricity and the plugs very clean and organized the way we kind of laid it out. Um, to make this happen, we did have to move. This door essentially used to be like right here. So we had to do some rejigging with that to make the hallways and all that happen. And we moved this, but no one gives a fuck about that. I'm just jabbering that. Jabbering, is that a word? I don't know. But come up here, man. Come look at the view. Pretty nice, eh? Pretty nice. Pretty, pretty good. That's my office over there. Well, actually, we're doing construction there. I'm gonna have to do a whole separate video to tell you all the construction changes happening in the building. That's not even my office anymore. Damn, that's not even my office. The gym view, I say goodbye. What the fuck? Crazy. But, private nerd satisfied. We have our little more, dream more, be more. Those are the two mottos that we live by here and we're gonna get going let's go okay that's gym number one wrapped up the biggest things that we're gonna be like adding are gonna be to gym number one because like the sauna is honestly number one on the list um and two is like really upgrading and bringing more showers in uh which kind of ties into the sauna the, the steam, you know, all of those amenities, recovery room, that whole sector, that whole thing I'm clustering together is gonna be one whole thing that we tackle at once. And right now we're just like priming the space and working out everything we need and also waiting for uh, Shali's lease to end because Inaka is currently renting out the space that we're gonna be doing those things to. So until that lease is over and that's, they're moved, then we can like do it, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be a little bit. Thank you. So I don't know if you guys can notice, but here, um, this is like our walkway from gym one to gym two, but we did build a concession stand to hit you like right before you walk out to kind of just, you know, in case you at the front desk, you kind of didn't think about getting anything, it, you know, 
hits you here, you have an opportunity to get stuff, and it'll also hit you right when you walk in gym two on the left. You're also greeted by the staff, you know, to uh, opportunity to make a sale. So it's like, bam, bam, reminder, bam, reminder, bam. It's like constant, just in your face, subtly. Convenient is what people like, not in your face sales. You know what I mean? Conveniency. Conveniency, what the fuck? Conveniency. <laughs> Convenience. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at this. I'm gonna go show, all right, wow, look at that. Can you, kind of, can you see the wide angle of this? This is dope. Okay, so this is obviously brand new. We just started painting here on the left-hand side. This is where I'll start, but the plan here is to have two whole rows of cardio. I have already touched on this like in a vlog. I feel like I'm just gonna repeat it at, a, at my own pace anyway. Okay, so you get to hear it a second time if you've been watching the videos. But we are gonna be putting two whole rows of cardio here. Uh, one kind of missing factor is though we have a good cardio space upstairs for gym one, gym two, we only have like maybe eight to nine pieces of cardio equipment um, on this back right hand side. And because of this like company that's further down the street, it's like, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the services, the land services, like uh, dirt, it's like dirt and mulch and stuff like that. So, so like, it, it'll blow over and just the, the equipment's getting like really burnt out quickly there where it's at right now. So this spot's gonna be so much better. We're gonna close it in here on the side, but still keep it open from the front. Uh, and it'll be great to just have like full row stair masters and treadmills all the way down one and two. And then we're actually gonna cut out like this. So this whole two blocks from here all the way down will be open, right? So it'll be like a, a walkway and then cardio equipment will start one, two, and also the same, it'll be open. And if we go to the other side, you'll have the same thing on this side, which will be super dope. And it really gives you like a nice view when you're doing cardio. When you're doing cardio, you don't wanna feel like anyone's behind you, really, and you don't wanna feel, and you want something to look at, right? So you'll be able to kind of watch the basketball, watch, you know, with the gym doors open, watch everybody coming in and out, and you have something to kind of keep, keep you occupied, you know? So, now we'll come this way. Take a look at gym number two. Right here, we added these really, really bright, three like pronged exterior lights right here and right here to give more light for basketball. And in general, just like the theme that I tell Anthony um, is, is I want it to literally feel as New York as possible to where when you're walking in Times Square and it's like three in the morning and it feels like it's like daytime, you know, like that's the feeling. I just want to keep the energy high here while we're here. And especially like if you look all around, it's just pitch black. Like all the businesses around or just warehouses and things where you don't need to be like open right now. So it's just really dead in the space. So we want to fucking liven it up. One to not, not just to liven it up and bring the environment, but to also like feel safe, um, to feel like you're secure. We have a, a security, we're actually a full on police officer from the city here at all times of operations, which is like something that I, I'm proud of, I'm, I pride us on and we pay for, but it's worth it to have that extra security. Um, and yeah, it's just dope. So this is gym two. We have two basketball courts. Oh, the sign is new. I need to show you guys the sign. This sign is dope. So we built or designed this kind of taking the same shape of the mesh that we have across the whole building. So like the entrance and all the mesh panels and everything, it's this diamond mesh. So we took this diamond shape and made this design on this back, uh, on this sign that just takes, it almost like that's our new sort of, that's our new circle. It's athlete circle, right? That's our new shape. And suddenly like we're incorporating it across all of the branding, like moving forward. 
you're gonna start seeing the next few years of Alpha Elite, like that shape is gonna sort of like, in that that back design, it's gonna be so subtle, but sort of subtly just like the Alpha Elite DNA is getting developed. And as it develops over the years via the gyms, or maybe it's via the community like that is physically here in person, that's where that, you know, maybe that's creating the brand and changing the, the, the direction of it. And it just evolves and evolves and you'll see it like via the clothes eventually, right? And it's just dope. So, um, and it caught, that costs a lot of money, that sign. But it's fucking, it's art. <laughs> and that's, that's what the, this, the artist sold me on it. He goes, invest in me because this is art. And it is, so it's beautiful. Now, um, we'll use a like, drone and everything to I kind of show Jim too, but one big thing I did was I took out the middle wall that we had here. Um, I initially wanted a middle wall because I felt like because the space was so big that it'd be nice to have just some extra mirrors because really we only have mirrors in the front and in the back. There's nothing on the sides because we have the bay doors. So I put a wall in the middle that provided mirrors on both sides, but it ended up just like kind of clustering up the rows a little bit and just making it a little bit awkward. So we took it, the big wall out and now we already able, we were already able to fit like three to four more pieces of leg equipment in uh, and we have a lot more space in between the rows and now I'm like, okay, I kind of want to make the rows go this way, long ways, to kind of go with the length of the gym for like maybe, but I know that's a huge change, it's not needed right now, so we're kind of debating on that, but we're definitely gonna make, yeah, this row has already been cleaned up, actually one, two, three, yeah. That was already, that was like one big thing that happened, was that wall. Um, and when I take the cardio equipment out, because I'll have so much cardio out there, that I can take it out of gym two, so I get that whole space in the back to continue on like three more rows. So I can finish this row, this row, and that row like properly, which would be really nice. So I'll show you guys what we end up doing there. Here we uh, hung up punching bags on the exterior to kind of make up, you know, have a good use for the space. We didn't want to put mirrors here because it's just basketball and we really don't want people taking pictures and getting in the way of basketball. So that's sort of, those little things are like things that you need to sort of, you need to think about. And if you don't think about and you start seeing issues and it's like a common thing, you're like, oh shit, people running into each other. Like a lot of people just let that happen and not think to change it or like, you know, which is kind of crazy, but it ain't that fucking hard guys. It's not rocket science, I swear. But here we come to the back. This is gym number three. The Christmas lights are looking beautiful. One thing we also have done uh, around property, you'll kind of see these like crates, right? These storage containers. So we bought, I bought like six or eight of them um, and we painted them either white or black. If they're underneath the parking garage, they're black. If they're underneath, if they're on property, they're going to be white. So they kind of resemble a building. And it does, you, like at a glance, you don't even fucking notice it's just a storage container. It's a fucking metal bin, but it looks clean. It, it, and it, it allows like an easy solution to storage, uh, which has been awesome. So we have a few of those kind of around. So yeah, there's that here. We uh, updated the lights for the exterior gym. Every single, gym here is just lit to the fucking prime it's like a combo of the low lights with the high like if you have high ceiling being sure you have enough like coverage for like the dispersing light and also having enough ones that come down um, being sure like your paint is correct the temperature of your lights is a huge one as well gym number three this is where we keep our music like the, the lowest, um, the most f filming friendly gym, I'd say. Um, and it's fully equipped. We have dumbbells up to, I think, 115, 120. Um, we've got a fully refurbished cable crossover from Cybex. Uh, we clean up all the mesh paneling our, <laughs> ourselves. Our mesh, 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 man. It's, just, it's like duct tape. It's the new duct tape. My, my duct tape is metal mesh, okay? Uh, we have the Conquer with Arnold, the same artist that did the Provident or Satisfied, the mural for the globe up front, um, and 
the Greg Plitt, which I haven't shown you guys. I need to show you guys. Uh, she did this as well. She also did Mr. Muhammad Ali in the back. Never satisfied. I know this isn't like a cosmetic update. Oh, what's up? <laughs> it's dad. <laughs> what's up? Yeah, I'm good. Just doing a tour. It's not a cosmetic update, but we redid the entire flooring here in the gym. So this building used to be a, where they would wash all these like massive trucks, right? Cause it was an oil drilling company. They had all the trucks underneath the storage. They would wash them here, store them there in that big lot, right? So there's a drain right in the middle. So really the build, like this whole building goes like this. And so when we put flooring on top, obviously everything was kind of rolling inwards towards the middle and it was just really uncomfortable and sketchy. So we went offline, we took the gym offline for like, I think eight, seven days or eight days. Fully laid the concrete, got it done, refloored it. Now the flooring's perfect. Everything is like perfectly level. We cleaned up the equipment while we were at it and now this gym feels pristine. We have our posing room here that's getting used, but you guys have seen that one. We have our light switches here on the outside, which you can like uh, have different settings on if you want. And then we have a second posing room here. So this is the single light. There's that one. The angled mirror. T-shirt, damn, look at the delts, bro. T-shirt dropping on the 30th of this month. Damn. And yeah, so we'll come this way now. Here on my left, we've got our field that is currently, I think it's 55 or 60 yards, but we're actually gonna be able to expand it another 15 to 20 um, this way because we're actually like 70% done with the next upgrade that we're doing, which is a full running track. Um, here in all these trees that you see, we're like running all the wires for the electric. We're getting all of the lights put in to be like a fully like, you know, well lit. We have like a little, um, we have a little waterway with like these white river rocks that will have like water and like a little bridge over and it'll be a full running trail that'll go all the way through. We already designed it out and I like did the whole, um, the machine where you like go and you measure it. It'll actually loop around the track and all the way through um, to like be the mile. Uh, I think it's, yeah, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but it'll be done and it'll be online by like February, March of 2024. Um, so that's super exciting. That was like Kirby's request like years ago. And then anytime someone puts like a friend of mine puts a request in, it's like, they don't know it, but like low key, it's like, it's going to happen. You know what I mean? So, Juan, Harry, you guys got in your quest, just put it in. Pickleball, it, pickleball's already, we're, we're already, where the field is over there, that's the more level one. So we're already looking at being able to like, cause we have to level it enough to put the pickleball, but we're, Anthony's looking in it. Yeah, yeah, so on it. <laughs> Here, we got two sand volleyballs now um, active or live. Uh, we do have a league that we just wrapped up that was super successful, competitive, competitive as hell honestly like i have i would have no chance to even like have qualified up to some of those top teams because they were really really good but yeah we have alpland on the sand volleyball this whole thing with the digging the sand the all everything was like 20k 21k maybe so it's not too bad um of an upgrade i want to clean up the lines i honestly like make it a very sharp like sand and no sand. I don't like how it like drifts into the sand right now. I think it's messy. So yeah, we need to make that cleaner, but it'll be nice once we light it up because it'll just feel like truly the property goes. And like once you kind of come from gym two, this football field, the basketball, gym three, sand volleyball, this will all just feel so, we'll have speakers like in a few of the trees and it'll just feel so much more tied in, so much more lit up and so much more like alive all the way through. Um, yeah, so that's really it. Last thing I need to show you guys, if we come this way, is this. Uh, I've talked about this during prep a few times, but essentially we originally had where the bay doors are and they're open, we had like these like wires that closed these doors in. So though the bay doors would be open, 
and you can have the, the breeze, right? When we were initially opened, we had these like lot, these wires that would go from there to here, and then kind of, you know, eight inches, whatever, and like cross. And it just kind of made the gym feel, though it was big, kind of small, because like you could see the outside, but you feel you couldn't have any of this like space, right? So we took it all out. We were able to, with the fire marshal and shit, get all this approved to actually bring this structure out. And now we've got what, maybe like 14 to 16 feet from here to that uh, wall, to the mirror. So a full strip of turf has was run all the way down. <coughs> and then we put these mats to fit in here instead of another piece of turf because I didn't want the line, like that crease to go all the way down. Um, and honestly, like, it's been almost a year with this, I'd say. It's holding up decent. Uh, like, you can definitely tell the damage, like there's a lot of damage, but I'd say like, this is the most damaged and we'll probably have to replace this whole turf piece in like another year to year and a half. But it's not that bad, I guess, for, you know, in the grand scheme of things when you look at, you know, maintenance costs and all that kind of stuff. But here's a really good angle of that sign, which I think is fucking beautiful. And that concession stand, you can see that's in the front right hand side. And I also need to show you the Greg Plitt wall because Greg Plitt deserves to be shown. Our mobility area here. In gym two, we have Greg Plitt. You must believe in yourself enough to be the person now that you want others to remember you for later. Mr. Greg Plitt, we have our kettlebells, we have our racks here, we have our hanging hooks. We have these sticks that I bought from Amazon that Mario, the guy who do, does my body work, recommended um, me yet. So there's like different height ones, but they're flexible like this. So you're able to do like all this like, oh yeah, good stuff. Foam rollers here. These S hooks or J hooks. Bro, my bat, everything's been feeling so much better since I finished prep. Like I used to, I was living with this, right? Like living with this, so it's wild how that works. <laughs> and the signs prep isn't good for you, I don't know. But uh, here, if we walk this way, I don't know if I've ever shown you guys the restrooms here, but I'll show you. Here are the restrooms. We have our chiropractor here, Alpha Cairo. There's all five. So we have one, two, three, four, five individual like stalls, uh, three unisex and then one male, one female. We can go into one right now, come on in. So went ahead and put tile all the way up. We have the warmer temperature light, just the can lights with the just tiles, the uh, 24, 24 tiles, cheap, easy. And yeah, so one light cost me like probably 400 bucks, 350. And the sink was from Home Depot, like 200 bucks. So, and then this hand dryer is kind of expensive, but quality. You know what I mean? That's just quality. We got some lockers here. We have our soccer league here. It's just all like, you gotta put everything in front of people's face a few times and kind of hope that they see it. You know what I mean? It's sort of the, the concept when you really want to market anything. Do it in a way where people enjoy the experience. They're not shoving, they don't feel like you're shoving things down their face and just don't overdo it, you know? And things will, naturally, especially with a business like this, like, thing, like the worst thing you can do is just annoy, like have your employees annoy somebody away. Somebody who's like enjoying your product, enjoying your service, and like enjoying the facility, like you don't want to just like push them away. Like what the fuck, like, you know what I mean? That like, if anything, this is an easy business to keep your people happy, see what they want, what they like, if they need anything, if they like anything, and make that happen everyone may try to make those things happen and like show that those things are happening and you are listening to them and then you get to you keep all your customers you keep your business right and then you're just able to grow by word of mouth and also by just like 
it's just it's just simple it's simple things so um and make it look good stay on top of it keep it clean and be different than your competition offer more than your competition for a price that don't just let your price be like dictated by your competition you set your price and your value of what you believe you're, you're, it's worth and yeah just let it run and work on it you know but i'm gonna we're gonna transition to the ramps in the front and wrap up there okay also update so on the other side of this big ass wall of mirrors we have the big letters the six foot tall letters or like right behind here so because it was a mesh wall you could see through it technically we ended up um covering with like plywood the bat we like made a full plywood the whole entire thing and actually we did it all the way down as well um <coughs> and <coughs> made it a hard back so it actually made like the wherever the mesh is actually like pitch black so whenever we lit the letters it actually looks better because or else you would have like when, with the lights that we added you'd see the mesh whenever we light it so that's why we added the back panel but um yeah it's just nice because pretty much by adding mirrors all the way here and on the exterior of this entire side of the building which is like the traffic flow right where we just were able to give everybody opportunities to do the social media stuff and so get your pictures take your progress stuff like film yourself do that and we, you can do it in the gym of course but like you're encouraged to do it out here uh, which is just out of the way for the people that are training and i think it's just a, a respectful way to you know encourage good behavior and respectful behavior and a good culture in the gym that i think as like an owner you can you can push things in a way to build the culture you want you know what i mean and i think that's what we're trying to do here respecting everybody's always like number one uh, here we are tying back into that new cardio space that we're doing and there we have our three ramps the learn more dream more be more three pillars to kind of match the motto of the entire building the ramps that are a little steep because yours truly may have fucked up a little bit on the measurements i admit but to make it a little uh softer we we turfed it and then we we added a landing zone uh at the bottom which is kind of nice so that wasn't there before <laughs> this is steep bro <laughs> well that one's steep but i'm gonna wrap the video up now i just realized i don't have to yell because you guys got a mic here i'm gonna wrap the actually come up here man come up you guys you guys you guys see this shit don't twinge bro don't twinge yourself Simba, <laughs> all the land, <laughs> everything it touches. But no, so check it, we've got the mirrors, you got parking lot. There you have my private gym, which we walked in at the beginning. Uh, the shack where I built Alpha, and you have a little container there, the walk-in. You have the old Alpha gym sign um, hanging there. So on the way out and you walk back to your car, you're like, you see, the old logo you're the heritage you kind of remember where this place all began because before Alfland, we were alpha gym Alfland is just the evolution of alpha gym so yeah uh, what else that's it then over here on the right you've got the vip lounge up there which we're not going to show you today but that's on the second floor the right there you've got the uh Rest later, rest later spin room where Amanda was in. The, uh, what's it called? Studio, Jesus Christ. Then there you have a Naka where the lights are off right there to the whole L of the building is all a Naka. So um, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's Alphaland 2023. Peace.